Back live in Atlanta, the stadium has grown quiet as competition has ended for the day. But there are still some events we want to show you. Let's go back earlier in the day for qualifying in the men's long jump. Here's Dwight Stones. All right, Bob, it was nice and hot out here at Olympic Stadium in the middle of the afternoon. I took advantage of the fact that almost nothing else was going on and went right down onto the infield to watch this. Mike Conley, as you see, finishing fourth at the Olympic Trials four years ago in the long jump. Of course, he made the team in the triple jump then and won the gold medal. This is his first jump of the competition. Automatic qualifying distance, 27-3, and he gets better than that, 27-3 and three quarters. He took only one jump, and he told me, Dwight, this is going to be my toughest day of the whole trials. Now, while Carl was waiting for his very first jump of the competition, the men's hammer qualifying was also going on. And more than once, the hammer came way too close to the athletes, and Carl was moments away from taking his first jump. I have watched him jump enough times where I would say he was within five seconds of actually going down the runway, and he had to stop and get his concentration back together for his very first round. Now remember, he had some calf cramp problems in the 100 meters just two days ago, so he didn't want to come out here and jump a lot. Well, he did, and he landed three inches behind the board, so whatever he jumps here, just add 11 inches to it, because he was three inches behind the board, and remember, the board is eight inches wide. Carl's great at usually hitting the board, but the conditions are tough to gauge because this runway is fast, and the wind is swirling. You can see lots of red under his feet. And he gets off to a paltry first of a 25, four and three quarters because of the distraction with the hammer and because of the problem with the run-up. So you can see that result. He's not particularly happy. He knows he's got to jump at least one more time. And then up stepped Mike Powell, the world and American record holder. Remember, he broke Bob Beeman's incredible record five years ago at the World Championships in Tokyo. He didn't like his first jump where he jumped 26, seven and three quarters. So he thought, what the heck, I'll take another one. It's a good thing he did because his confidence was bolstered dramatically by this jump. He matches Conley with an automatic qualifier here in the second jump. Now, he got a lot more of the board than Carl did. He had an inch and a half to spare. That's where he wants to be. Made the adjustment. This is the first time he's ever been on this runway, and it is lightning fast. Powell, having suffered from a lot of injuries the last couple of years, finishing third at the World Championships last year, the worst American finish in a championship long jump in over 40 years. But he is easily into Wednesday's final with that mark. Now, Carl had another poor jump in the second round. It was an improvement, but he didn't feel confident that it was far enough to get him into the final, so he took this, his third of only three jumps that they get in the qualifying. He looked much smoother down the runway this time, still didn't hit the board, but it was a much better jump. I talked to him after it, and he said he felt much smoother. His rhythm was good. His calves did not cramp at all today, and he still has two days to rest. This is classic. Carl sprinting for him. He's the fastest man on the runway, obviously, in the long jump. And he steps down, barely gets the end of that board, add eight inches to this mark, and he's over 27 feet. He's tall, he's fast, his technique is excellent. Reasonably good extension, but he has more, and he agrees with me that it's going to take something in the area of 27-8 to make the team. We're going to lose somebody in the final on Wednesday. His last round jump, 26-4 and a quarter, counted as a 27-foot jump. He is right in the hunt. Here are the athletes advancing to the final in the men's long jump. Powell, Conley, Walder, Street, Thompson, Green, and Lewis. Interesting group. Experienced veterans coming back to make the Olympic team have been a very big story at these trials, and that is about as experienced a group as you will find. Carl Lewis, we should remind ourselves, made his first Olympic team in 1980 as a long jumper, and we will hear from him when we return to Atlanta, Georgia. Good interplay between Bob and I in that one. Welcome back to the Olympic Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Bob Varsha along with Dwight Stones with you. Moments ago, you watched Carl Lewis qualify for the finals of the men's long jump, but not without incident. Hammer throws landing in the area as the jumpers took their turns on the runway. Afterwards, Lewis Johnson spoke with Carl Lewis about his eventful afternoon on the runway. 
Carl, things got a little testy at the long jump today. Tell me what in the world was going on with the trying to concentrate on the long jump, and then you had some implements flying in your area. Yeah, the hammer throw is a pretty big ball on a long <laughs> chain, and, and it's pretty scary. Kind of knocked me out of it on the first jump, but I was able to come around and jump fairly well today. Now, what have officials been doing over there to try to correct the problem, or do you, have they talked about some changes to give you guys a bit more security, a bit more comfort? Well, they haven't really talked about it. I, my whole thing is that we have an eight-day track meet here, and we couldn't find time <laughs> to put the sh hammer throw in the long jump at different times but we obviously have to do that everyone was up against it and we just have to go out and compete the best we can all right you had an, a disappointing eighth place finish in the hundred but how have you now tried to rebound and, and get yourself together for the long jump well there's some good things that came out at 100 meters because I as well as I've run in many many years and I'm faster right now than I've been in four or five years so there's some confidence out of that race I mean I cramped in a final and that's what I believe cost me from making the team I felt very confident so what you have to do is go and look at the good parts that I'm fast I'm in good shape I'm ready to roll come out today do what it takes to qualify not risk an injury and I did that so now we move on to the final in two days now take a moment to assess the final as you prepare for that and uh, try to secure your spot on the team what kind of jump do you expect that you'll need to get in the top three? Well, the thing I need to do is concentrate on doing the best I can on the first jump. That's very important to me. It's always been that way. And I know it's going to take 8, 850 to make the team, and that's 28 feet. So my main goal is to jump over that the first thing to get started. Carl Lewis showing remarkable calm following that incident.